You know, in 2019, when you bought the rights to Taylor Swift's Masters, it turned into a really big thing, right? Would you have handled it differently? Yes, I would have. Scooter Braun is opening up about the regret he has over his very public battle with Taylor Swift. Back in 2019, Scooter's Ithaca Holdings purchased Big Machine Music Group, and with the label came ownership of the masters for Taylor's first six albums. In the years since, the singer has continued to speak out about her objection to the acquisition, which she claims was done without her knowledge. Well, in a new interview with NPR, Scooter explains that when he did the deal, he was under a very strict NDA. And I couldn't tell any artist. I wasn't allowed to. I wasn't legally allowed to. Yeah. What I told him was, hey, if any of the artists want to come back and buy into this, you have to let me know. And he shared a letter with me. You know, the artist you're referring to said, I don't want to participate in my masters. I've decided to, you know, not make this deal, blah, blah. So that was the idea I was under. Scooter continues, adding that he was excited to work with every artist on the label. So when the deal was finalized, he started reaching out to them. And before I could even do that, I, I had made four phone calls. I started to do those phone calls. All hell broke loose. The regret I have there is that I made the assumption that everyone, once the deal was done, was going to have a conversation with me, see my intent, see my character, and say, great, let's be in business together. But in the end, Scooter says he learned a major lesson from the whole ordeal, one that carried over into the selling of Ithaca in 2021 to Hybe for $1 billion. So when I did the deal with Hybe, um, I took $50 million of my own stock that I received, and I gave it to my employees and my artists. And I made sure that everyone participated significantly. He also notes that despite what's been said about him online, he's going to continue putting his energy towards other things and just move on. I didn't appreciate how that all went down. I thought it, I thought it was unfair, but I also understand from the other side, they probably felt it was unfair too. So I choose to look at it as a learning lesson, a growing lesson, and I wish everyone involved well. And I'm rooting for everyone to win because I don't believe in rooting for people to lose.